Uh, today is December 20th, 2011, and this is, um, I'm 34 years old. Uh, 17 years ago, I was diagnosed with limb girdle 2A muscular dystrophy. And so this is year four, I think, of recording walking. And so what I'm gonna do is just take a couple walks up and down and see if there's any difference between this year and last year. I notice um, when I walk, I can feel it more in my belly. There's more of less muscles holding it together. It seems to be moving around a lot more. Um, as well as just walking, it seems like it's, it's a little bit more difficult than last year, just moving the legs. Um, and I don't know if, most of the times when I do the videos, it's in the summertime, so I'm a lot warmer and my muscles are a lot more looser. So now being wintertime, um, I think that might be a contributing factor, so I won't know until we do it, uh, my summer videos of 2012, of you know what the walking's like. But it just feels more rigid. It feels like I'm not really lifting up the legs. It feels like I'm just kind of dragging them. And, and you might be able to see, there's really not a whole lot of bending from the knee down. It's just more of you know shifting the weight left to right and, and just bringing the leg forward. Um, so that which could probably be why the belly seems to be moving a lot. The upper body, it's, it still seems to be a little, uh, when I step with, I think it's the right leg here, seems to be more of an upper body um, shaking of the shoulders, which that's been going on for years. I notice as well, the walking, you know, when I really pay attention to it, I can really feel how when I push off of, with the trailing leg, when I push off, I can feel the weight shifting to the side, so I'm going to exaggerate if you focus down there. So when I step, so this trailing leg, it seems like I'm going to really turn it a lot, but that's not what it's doing. It's really, I'm really pushing off with that foot there, so it seems like it's more landing on the sides and pushing off from the sides. And I notice, you know, that really tends to make me feel off balance. And so what I've been doing lately is walking a little bit slower, uh, which, which helps when I'm out in the community or even in the house. Uh, prevents from falling. There have been a few times where just by slowing down my walking, I've, you know, my foot might have got caught on a carpet or, um, you know, uh, in between the grout or in between the tiles and the grout, and I felt myself, um, you know, my balance come off. So, you know, slowing down my walking uh, has definitely helped out to preventing falls. Uh, but at the same time, too, when you try to walk real slow, it sometimes is a little bit harder to keep your balance. Uh, and then the last thing I want to just mention, too, is Walking on soft surfaces like carpets or uh, grass, it, it's, it's getting more difficult where um, obviously, you know, on a hard surface, you know, um, my feet, you know, they're, they're, gonna, they're turning, but there's something solid to push off of. But when you're stepping onto carpet um, or grass, it, it gives, and so there's more of a chance to, to stumble there. So, um, but, you know, so far I've been, been doing all right. So this is basically this year's walking, and um, we'll do another video in the summertime to see if there's a difference between uh, now and then. So thank you.